Okay, first, how much power we have there? 1,400,000. Wow, that's cool. Let's pull, come on, let's fill up the station. I'll try to show you how these things work, and after I'll show you. Okay, let's show you the station, how it's done. Guys, this is the nuclear reactor in the middle below that one. I don't want to break it, and if I break it, probably all that will blow up. So you put your nuclear reactor in the middle and you put six of nuclear chambers around it. I have one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, and one. If I break that stone underneath the water from below, I put the other one. So to keep the middle one in there is the nuclear reactor. And the wiring, I showed you how it's done. You connect the wire the way you want it to be, how far you want it to be. Don't uh, connect your machines really for far distance from the wire because I think the power won't reach them. And this is the MFSU. I showed you guys. Let me show you how it's done. And I need to show you. Oh, come on. Okay, I can do right click on it now. I'll show you there. I want to show you how. I've done all that stuff guys. Okay, that's the MFSU. Let's take this stuff from here and reinforce this. I showed you how that done the advanced machine. Guys, they are the advanced machine blocks. They're really, really important. Uh, that's the MFSU. Okay, to do that one, you need Le, Le Putron crystals. And you need advanced machine block, which is I showed you how it's done. And you need the MFE, and this is the advanced circuit. You know how it's done. Um, to do, um, I already have one spare there, but I'll show you in here. To do this, the putrum, all you need is lepis, lepis, your lepis, your energy crystal, which is one diamond in the middle and a redstone. Let me show it to you guys. This is how you do that energy crystal and uh, after that you make these the putrum crystals and you get these with the lapis and normal electric machines which is uh, electronic uh, circuits which is this is how you do the, these normal ones and you add them all together and you get whatever you need in here and you make that i'll show you how to do the mfe which is this is that's the first version of the MFSU and this is how you do that one for energy crystals and normal machine blocks as I said guys eight iron uh, eight refined irons this is how you do it the machine blocks guys and um, let's get you back to that one and copper cables which is you know guys have to do the cables three coppers you put three coppers and you get the wiring and you put it you put the wiring with some rubbers and this is how you do it guys so i'm trying everything to go through so to show you how to do these copper cables and to do every single details you know i wanted you to know exactly how it's done guys this is the mfe i was showing you how it's done and when you do that mfe guys You add it to the middle in here with the machine with the advanced machine block the advanced circuit and these leputrums crystals and you get this mfsu which is really 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 useful and uh, i need to give you some warning about some stuff in here guys okay this is the hv transformer very 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 powerful and this is the lower version of that one, which is HV transform, MV trans transformer. And this is the lowest one of them, LV transformer, which is uh, to get this 10 million watt energy going smooth to your normal machines with these compressors. If I use the, if I use this one straight away from that machine there, uh, that one will blow up. If I use the HV transformer from that machine to there, straight from that one, the wiring to this block, to these uh, machines, they will blow up 
but like this is the normal macerator and that's that's the other rotary macerator which is this one can take the power but the normal macerator will blow up and this compressor will blow up this the most powerful compressor of these ones singularity it will stay up you know it will still working this canning machine will blow up yeah canning machine guys this is tin can and this is food and let me show you how this works um, okay I'll show you after I explain these bits in here okay the MFSU guys connected to a HV transformer and this is how you do the HV transformer guys uh, two copper wire and machine block and you get this MV transformer which is first you do that four wooden planks three coppers two copper cables and you get this LV transformer and come on and now to do that one two copper cable machine block and you get this MV transformer and to do the HV transformer you've seen this MV transformer how it's done with one another energy crystal two coppers and electronic circuit and you get the HV transformer you need this HV transformer guys because you need to slow down the power goes to these machines so from the HV transformer to the MV transformer which is that one there and to the LV transformer which is that one there now from that 10 million watt all we have to do connect the wire and it goes to that this one slows down the power goes to that one that one slow it down goes to that one and from that one goes to all your machines which is works perfect honestly guys it is well worth it to do it that way I tried to connect it from here to there and the wiring didn't reach that blocks there so you know from that main line so I tried to connect it straight away and now it works perfect but I need to do a different decoration with that stuff to tidy it and I tried to put one of these uh, condenser chests I believe and uh, this is how you do your tin cans guys five tins and you get some tin cans in there let's take a couple more and put them on canning machine so now all I have to do it's connected to the power guys which is this is what I'm saying about this power stations are very useful look at the, the uranium cells is really really been used okay and after you connect it all you have to do just put your food nothing here and as you can see and well you won't be able to know what you're eating guys you will have tins but you don't know what you're eating and yeah um, I believe each fish can make up maybe to one can three cans Wow each fish three cans oh yeah each fish give you three hearts that's correct and chicken I think it gives you three maybe or four bread the same but the melons do one each one of these melons make one can I believe okay I wanted to do all that stuff and show you look at it the thing is I wish we know what we eat in like fish can or fish food or um, canned fish or canned chicken canned something you know what I mean guys it will be fun it will be really really cool okay now I'm doing the pork chops. Come on. How many one? Thir we have 13 here. Four! Boom! That's cool. So each pork chop can make four cans, which is cool. I wanted to see will they last a long time eating this stuff? Oh my, I need to get some more cans. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. And where did I put them now? Oh my god. Okay, I'll be explaining about that stuff there. Let's take 28 for now. Put them there. Okay, um, the chickens. 42 we have. How many can can fill up? Three. 
Why? So the pork chops really well worth it. Can we? I wanted to see uh, the honey sliced bread. Will I be able to make some cans out of it? I don't think so, but I'll see how it goes because this is from different mod, I believe. Whew. If I can do it, that would be great. That would be really, really cool. Yeah, I know, I know. You can't. Breads. Let's see the bread. How many can can we get from each bread? Three. That's cool. Wow. It is really worth it. Because when you eat one bread, it fills up one heart, I believe. Okay, okay. I know that one, it one makes one only. I'm gonna look at that. Because it's only one can. But it, that's good, it goes faster and faster. That's cool. Yeah, let's leave, leave that stuff in there. Okay, each apple can fill up one can. Two cans, beautiful. This is really, really cool. Wow, I love it. Okay, I need to see now when we eat, will we have the can? It's, you know, I can't unfold already. Okay, okay. I wanted to check one more thing, guys. I wanted to see, um, will I be able... Um, three, two, one, let's leave one only. I wanted to see will I be able to um, come on wow wow how many can one it's the same so it's not worth it you could just eat it but it's cool you know you feel like you have canned stuff but the apple is good really really cool two apples cool okay um I'll have to explain about how to do these machines guys or you could check your uh, menus and you will be able to find out about these machines but I'll try um, to show it to you in this video if I have time now I don't know how long I've been recording guys I've been recording for a long time I believe so this is going to be one long video maybe or I'll try to split it into two videos and try to show you about all that machine how it's done because I have loads of machine to hold in my hand and try to explain how it's done guys so you will be able to know how these things is done okay let's put my stuff back there probably take some food can keep it somewhere at home safe um, because I don't want to leave them somewhere and I could be blown up <laughs> and yeah these machines guys are really really fun to play with and fiddle around and honestly you will love this stuff guys you will really really think it's cool stuff and i believe my rambo is life is short look at it don't you dare come in now okay that's cool that's cool okay cool um, well I want to see where's, where's the other that's the 64 in there I wanted to see when I eat will I still have the can or will I lose the whole can mm, okay um, you get in here that's the worst bit you have to keep feeding <coughs> This turtle is really, really hungry. He eats a lot and he eats tons of stuff. Oops. 